Hi guys, I picked up this broken electric fly swap in Pound World for only 50p because it was broken because I thought I could have a go at one of Thomas Kim's experiments. So have a look in the video description and I'll give you a link to the experiment that I can have a go at so you can do it properly instead of copying me. I shall actually take this apart because not only is it broken but it looks like the wires have come loose inside. But we need the circuitry from in there. We need a couple of aluminium cans and we need a ball of um, foil. That's just balled up into a tight ball. Then we need something to connect the circuit to each tin. So I've got some uh, double-ended clips. Let's see if I can use them. Got a couple of them. And we need something to suspend the ball between the tins that doesn't conduct electricity. Now, he uses the proper thing. I'm going to try and use a plastic ruler. I don't know if it will work. You'll probably get too much leakage across there because things that don't normally conduct do conduct when we're talking high voltage. But we'll find out. I'll try it. The idea is that suspended on a piece of cotton from the bridge and the electrostatic charges build up and it swings side to side. First of all, I'll take that apart, get the circuitry out of it, repair the broken wire, and then see what we can do with it. That's the bit of circuitry, and that yellow wire has come loose. That doesn't want to come apart, but I'm guessing the blue wires probably go to the top and the bottom and the red wire probably goes in the middle. So I should be able to connect my connectors directly onto those two tags. That's the circuit board. I've resoldered the wire. And that's our little high voltage spike. So, we'll connect this up and see if it works. Uh, if you do try and do this, just bear in mind that is a high voltage um, spike you get there. So, not a good idea to touch it. All set up. So, I've got a couple of drinks cans. I've got my electric fly swap circuit. You have to be a bit careful touching any of this because once you've charged it there are high voltages so I've got a steel ruler here I'll touch it on this side first right we're okay at the moment so switch it on looks like we're just a bit too far apart so I'll just discharge it touching this side first Bring it round to touch the other side. Don't know if you saw that, but there was a small spark there. So now I'm confident enough to adjust the positioning. And they need to be pretty close. Maybe if that ball was a bit lighter, it might work 
easier. And they shouldn't actually be touching either side. So it's hanging free. Let's have another go. There we go. What's happening is it's charging on one side and discharging on the other, building up an electric potential in the ball itself. You see it's still going a bit even though I've switched it off. Switch it on again. Just to show you what I mean about discharging it. Don't know if that was visible. Let's turn the lights off so we've just got the one light. That's a bit too dark. Again. And then discharge it. I probably saw it that time. Put the light back on. Move the camera a bit closer or zoom in a bit so we can see the movement a bit clearer. Power on. No idea what the voltage is. Have a look at Thomas Kim's video, see how to do it properly and have a look at some of his other videos while you're there. He does all sorts of high voltage experiments. I've always wanted to have a go. Job done. Pleased with that. Always remember to discharge it.